Good morning, class. This is another read aloud from Mrs. Moyer, myself. And today we're going to read Larry Gets Lost in Seattle. And I picked this book because I love dogs. I have my dog Blanky on. And we have a big city in Washington State, that's where we're from, that's called Seattle. So we get to learn a little bit about Seattle and we get to hear about Larry, who is the lost dog in Seattle and find out what happens in the story. At the end, I'm going to have an activity for you to do. So listen closely and listen to the end of the video for the activity. Okay, this is Larry Gets Lost in Seattle. This is illustrated by John Skewis and written by Eric Ode and John Skewis. This is Larry. This is Pete. They ride together in the back seat. They come to the water, but cars cannot float, so Dad drives them onto a big ferry boat. The boy and his dog stand and watch from the rail. Pete knows where they're going. Larry is wagging his tail. The ferry boat docks with a creak and a rattle. Let's go! Hollers Pete. We are here in Seattle. The first place they visit has so much to see, a tower of animals carved from a tree, a roof made of steel, and then, there, all alone, a wise-looking man who is carved out of stone. Now Larry is hungry, and what has he found? A yummy surprise waiting here on the ground, a gobble, a chomp. And then a jungle of feet. When Larry looks up, there's no sign of Pete. Oh no. So Larry finds stairs and then he follows them down. But Pete isn't here in this underground town. Above he hears whistles. A train is appearing. And somewhere, a large crowd of people are cheering. So this is CenturyLink Field, where the Seahawks play, and Safeco Field, where the Mariners play. A giant might help him, he thinks looking up, but this one's too busy to help a lost pup. Here, people are reading. They don't notice Larry. Could Pete be found here in this big glass library? He comes to a market with good things to eat and flowers and music and people to meet. This is Pike's Place Market in downtown Seattle. It's a big farmer's market. He reaches a park where nothing seems right. A bird tall and sturdy with wings like a kite. A tree like a mirror all shiny and bright. He finds a tall tower like something from space. A train races by from some high above place. But nowhere does Larry see Pete's friendly face. He's at the Space Needle, guys, in Seattle Center. He hurries past ships and then through a door. This place looks like nowhere he's been to before. With airplanes and boats hanging high in the air, it's a fun place to visit, but Pete isn't there. And here is a park with machines on the ground, but parks aren't much fun when your friends aren't around. He meets other people, some funny, some scary, but no one seems to want to help little Larry. Here's the Fremont troll that's under a bridge. Then there, then here where the houses each float like a duck, 
An odd-looking creature has poor Larry stuck. What animal is that? What do you think? Larry leaps from the dock, and he lands in the lap of a fishing boat captain who is taking a nap. He checks Larry's collar, then places a call. Hang on, says the man. This won't take long at all. They sail past a bridge, and a short moment later, the boats start to drop like a strange elevator. Poor Larry is worried. He can't wait much more. Then who does he see up ahead on the shore? It's Larry's friend Pete. Larry lets out a bark. They dance and then they hug as the evening grows dark. They climb in the car and they buckle up tight. Then Larry and Pete wish the city good night. Hey, class, that was Larry Gets Lost in Seattle. And in the story, Larry got lost in a big city. I want you to think about the city you are from. Is it a lot like Seattle or is it different? Think about the stores you see, the buildings you see, and think about if it is the same as Seattle or a little bit different. I want you to tell your family what you think. And then I want you at home to build your own crazy buildings like you see in Seattle in the book. I want you to build it with Legos or you can draw a picture. So either or. You can draw a picture of a crazy building or you can build it with Legos or blocks. So that's your choice. So I want to see pictures of all your crazy buildings. Make sure to comment on Class Dojo and share your crazy building. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.